What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. I am AJ Gels. Guys, we are back with Middle Earth Shadow of War. Like I said in the last, uh, last video, I'm going to make this one a little longer to make up for the shortness of the last one. Sorry about that again, by the way. Let's see here. Well, we have all spies on his side. Actually, I should probably uh, get a uh, look at who the Overlord is. But uh, all we have is spies on his side. <laughs> And on my side, we have a... Let's see what we have. We have Urheku the Mountain, Terror Commander, level 29, with his Olokai host. We have uh, my another Assault Leader, Ronk the Crazy, Mystic Berserker, level 34, with a Savage Host. Uh, assault Leader, Skak the Lucky, Marauder Assassin, with Poisonous Siege Beasts. We have an assault leader, Bulg the Gab, Gab, Marauder Destroyer, with Shelob's Brood. And then to round things off, level 34, Koth Skinshore, Terror Trickster, mounted on a Karagor, with Karagor mounted archers. That's what, uh, that's what we have going on here. Let's grab let's grab some intel real quick on who the overlord is. Thank you. And we have Zoon Slave Master, Machine Berserker. Comes temporary days when his rage wears off. Damage by range, damage by execution, damage by stealth. Epic trait fire warder decreases all fire damage received by himself and by his allies. And epic rage. Oh, crap. Okay, advanced class berserker. Chaotic warrior becomes in range in battle. Furious charge. Rabid. Rampage. Machine hook and hunter's spear. Ugh. See, enraged by mortal. Oh, crap. That's gonna suck. This guy's gonna be one massive pain in the ass. You can tell I'm wearing a, uh, a new set of armor. <coughs> Excuse me. My, uh... I got the uh, the Marauder armor set now. I like it. I think it looks cool. That trophy was having all the uh, opposing war chiefs as uh, spies are basically under my control. This traitorous club tried to ruin us from within. Now watch as I show you what happens to traitors! Aw, I wanted him to become the, uh, the head of this, this castle. Waiting into the fire! Not the fire of battle, but the terrible roar of forges stoked by soot-stained bellows! It will consume you all! The searing inferno of industry burning you to nothing! He kills Spy! I think we still win fight! But we just lost initiative. Pin cushion! Prick! 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 <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, well, I think we uh, we got this. <laughs> Of just mirroring center. Uh, that's weird. I'll let them just keep capturing those points. Pretty easy. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> they had no idea I was on your side. <laughs> I'm a very good actor, boss. Yeah, well, we're about to do that caliber more. Calm down. That was this is such an easy, just conquering of the fort. I can say anything? Alright. I don't think he's very happy about the uh, the death of his blood brother. We're wondering who the hell the blood brother is. Well, that would be the, uh, or whatever their brother thing is. Well, it was the spy he killed. <laughs> I like the look of this place. This is cool. You are an affront to Mordor itself. Tearing you apart is both duty and pleasure. It's too bad both will go unfulfilled. Bring it.
Uh oh. These walls could talk. They curse you too. That's always so gross. Sorry about that weird cut. I don't know. It didn't play the, the I don't know, some sort of speech or anything. It was just kind of, just stood there for, whatever. Alright, who do we want to promote to Overlord? A marauder, a Feral, or a Mystic? Orgrom. Hmm. I'll make him our our new overlord. Mostly because I really like the the way the Marauder castles look. I like all the gold and all the white stone. Actually, not as good as the one we have. Ooh, better than the one we have. Alright, well, seeing that we still have time, 
I'll mess around and upgrade our castle. And the next one. Zog's acolytes have spread across Mordor. And we will find them. All of them. This boat is ours now. And now we have the fort. <clears throat> We will need to upgrade to get more war chiefs, though. But, you know, victory's a victory. They're a fast way to get over there. That doesn't look like it. Looks like foot it is. I will stop on you. Wonder where our, uh, our good friend Bruise is. Can't wait to keep fighting with him. But he's at a different uh, different stronghold right now. This is the end. Oh, of ghouls and grouks. <laughs> it's cute. Brothers of corruption raise their dead face. See, we picked up a skill. What do we want now? Take your yielding fury, or whatever that thing said it was. As they rise, so shall they fall. Brood rages! Brood screams! must destroy the ghoul mounds. Only then will they stop. Just sitting there breathing like poison gas on him. What? There we go.
if we don't get through these ghouls. Talia, we must dismount. I like the big tree grog. I don't know why, it just makes me smile. Drawn to its energy, the Karagors, driven by its corruption. Necromancers will not stop until all the dead of Mordor have been raised. An army to rival ours. Alright, doesn't look like there's any more missions in <clears throat> our area. It's real quick. Check out my inventory. Do some gem crafting if we can. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I finally crafted a perfect, uh, perfect gem on my sword. Give me all fancy. Like I said, looks like this area is all taken care of. Seerith Ungol. More ghoul. All right. In this area, also. I like the guy just, just sitting over there. Looks like a UFC fighter. I can't remember which one. Looks like him. It's Keith Jardine. There we go. Took me a while. Don't know if anybody remembers that name. I was back when the U when the UFC light heavyweight division was awesome. I mean, cause, well, I mean, there was Keith Jardine, there's Chuck Liddell, Leota Machida. God, the 
Ha, <laughs> Marauder. Oh, wait. We've been here before. Yeah. Cool. It's this place again. Let's One keep up helping Karnan. With many, he could create an army. Killing a Karagor is no different than killing a man. <laughs> Kill like you can lose a Karagor. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the UFC light heavyweight division a while back. God, that division was awesome back then. Now that's not great now, it's just God, it was so good back then. Did you hear that? There's so many great strikers. Looks like we're flying the wood drake. Arise in haste. Archers are raised by acolytes of God. Who are these archers of Morgoth? Morgoth was the first Dark Lord, and these archers, long dead, were one of his creations. They were masters of their craft and cannot be allowed to escape these caves. Alright, it breathes ice. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. There we go. I was looking for like a sprint button. There they be. We must destroy their totems before more of them rise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam.
celebrate your darkness! <laughs> <laughs> them. I'm running low on health and I'd rather not. I'm out of elf shot. Great. <laughs> them with fire and spare not a one okay i still feel like we're just doing the same thing over and over again in each one of these missions a cleansing blaze we must find him before he raises his own army. Well, I said I was going to do this extra long, but I part of me feels bad starting her quest. It just there, there's something that just wouldn't connect right with how these these videos are. I feel like this is actually like a natural stopping point. Oh, it's available in Nernan. Uh. 
Let's go. I thought it would be in the uh, area we haven't gone to yet. Ugh. I st again, I, I just I feel like overall these these missions that we keep doing, they they feel overly repetitive, and they aren't advancing the main plot. I understand why we're doing this. We're doing this. To, it, this feels like a side mission, yet instead it's part of the main quest line. I, I don't understand why. I think that there should. It, it, uh, how to put this? It sort of feels like the Grand Theft Auto, the way Grand Theft Auto does quest lines. How there are certain quest chains that aren't necessarily about, um, about the main story. But I, I think Grand Theft Auto does a great job of. Making everything either apply, puts the character in a position for a later quest chain, you know, puts them in a position where maybe they need to do something for someone or uh, need someone's help or they, they need something that then opens up a later quest chain. Or uh, it's just a better way to do things than what this is doing. I think this game would be much, is much more suited to a singular linear quest chain with side missions available. That's my, again, th this is all my opinion. I, you can disagree with me, whatever, but this is just how it feels to me sitting here with the game in my hand. I, I, I always have to add that because I don't want to make it sound like I'm saying, well, they're wrong in doing this. It's just, in my opinion, it doesn't feel right. They come for Conan. We must destroy their totems. God, and again with the totems. It also feels lazy. Burn it all down. Hey, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These magics poison the forest. They poison Conan.
God damn it, I can't it crap. Excuse me. Yeah. So we're gonna start hunting down this, uh, this, mm, I think his name is Zog. Jeez, it's only 78% of the way through? Well, you know what? We'll call this one here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all that stuff can be found down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. Until then, uh, I'm AJ Gels. This is the Umpire Gaming Channel. I'm out.